Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can get and set input value in JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have some basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file here. Now we need a container div. And we need three div elements inside this. Just copy and paste it. Here we'll have one input element. ID for this will be input get and placeholder will be get value. Also we'll have one button here. We'll make it get. ID for this will be btn get. We'll display the value in this div. So give it an ID of result and just put result here in the third div we'll have the same html code so just copy and paste it here we need to make it set same goes here save it make it initial caps go to style sheet and select the container Display will be flex. Justify content will be space evenly. Select the input element and the button and give them a height of around 25 pixels. Select the result div. Make the font size around 25 pixels. Font width will be bold. Now just save this, open this file in the browser. So this is the output. So let's see how it will actually work. In this input box, I will enter some value. And when I will click on this get button, I want to show that value here. In case of a set, I will type some value here. And when I will click on this set button, I want to take that value and set it in this input box. Let's go to script file. Select all these elements one by one. So it will be document.query selector id is btn get copy and paste it make it set and make it set now select the input elements we'll make it input cat copy and paste so it will be input cat Select result div. Now let's add event listener to these two buttons. So btn get add event listener. It will be click event and this will be the handler function. So we'll simply take value from this input and display in this result div. So result dot in our text equal to input cut dot value. Now we just copy and paste this. Make it set. And on the left hand side, we'll have this input dot get value. And on the right hand side, we'll have input set dot value. I just save it go to browser let's type something here let's put marks click on get so you can see we are getting a result here let me put some other name peter working fine now let's type something here and we'll take that value and set it here so let's make it james see type another name for example, Donald, click here and this is the output. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.